cannot all be in the same place. Know that very well, child of God. Do you think that someone on the deathbed that receives Jesus will be in the same realm and dimension with Elijah and Moses? No. No. Because that person has not been able to cultivate their spirit. They don't have that excellent spirit yet. Spirit man can be perfected. You have to understand that when God created man, he saw that it was good. Right? So there is a good spirit. And then Daniel speaks about having an excellent spirit. That is why, you know, most people, even myself, when I'm moving in the prophetic, I will speak in tongues within time. I'm trying to retrieve some information in my subconscious mind. Because the truth of the matter is, we are all connected. <laughs> we are all connected. The Bible says, God creates a man both at the same time. But then you see in Genesis chapter 2, the Bible says, and God breathed. And in fact, anytime the Bible says that Jesus came to fulfill the law and the prophets, the law was Moses, the prophets was Elijah. That is why Elijah and Moses appeared to Jesus on the mountain of transfiguration, symbolizing the, the law and the prophets. And he's the fulfillment of those two things do you understand you see Moses entered into a place where he entered into the council of the Godhead he was subjected to the person to the words of a man that he created he's saying I'm submitting myself to those words mm. but God created the man prophet mm. he knew the prophet before he formed him in his mother's womb before he formed her in her mother's womb. Father Holy Spirit, I command you everything that you have given her. I command you begin to come out. Begin to come out. You marine spirits, begin to come out. Every demonic projection, the poison that you fed her, the poison that you fed her, begin to cough it up. No life, no life, no life. You are free from every bondage. Amen. Your birthright has been restored. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at me. Look at me. Talita Kuma.
prophesy. I don't know why, but I'm seeing him like dancing. I don't know why, but I'm seeing him dancing. But then I'm like, why is he dancing? And I listen more. And I don't know why, but I saw him dancing to like praise music. Was he in the house of God? Did he like go to church? Did he love God? Yes. Prophesy! I saw him in heaven dancing. Amen. So God wants me to tell you right now. Don't worry. He's in the bosom of Jehovah.
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. We are live, we are live, we are live for another segment on the entrance. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus and I'm very excited and I'm very privileged before God to be before you all and I know that after today your life is going to be transformed completely. You see, one of the greatest forms of deliverance is not the casting out of devils. The greatest form of deliverance is when your ignorance has been confronted. When your ignorance becomes confronted, that is the greatest place of deliverance. You see, a devil can be casted out and the Lord Jesus Christ said that a devil can be casted out and the Bible says that the evil spirit will go to dry places and when they will go to dry places, the Bible says that the evil spirit will say, let us go back into our house. And not only that, the Bible says that the evil spirit will invite more wicked spirits than them. So you need to understand that just because a devil is casted out, it is not a seal of your deliverance. What makes your deliverance to be sealed is when you receive light when you receive the word of God and you need to understand that the light is the word of God for example the Bible says that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the understanding then the Bible says and the word was made flesh and the Bible says that that the word became the light of men so you have to understand that the word is light and the light is the word. Do you understand? And who is the word? The word is the revelation of God, also known as Christ. So when you receive revelation, you are receiving the word. You are receiving Christ within yourself. And that is what helps you to be conformed to his very image glory and I know that this segment is going to bless you I know that this segment is going to deliver you I know that this segment is going to increase you in revelation so that you will not be ignorant of the devil's devices Amen. So wherever you are, I want you to give this stream a like right now. I want you to like the video. Begin to like the video. Begin to share. And if you're a first timer, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And stay connected. And I guarantee you that at the end of the segment, you will be blessed be blessed and you will be transformed also i want you to comment right now comment in the live chat right now enter to the live chat and let me know where you're watching from let me know where you're watching from you all are appreciated and you all are dearly cherished by me all right so let me know where you're watching from let me know where you're watching from let's keep it going let's keep it going comment in the live chat right now let me know where you're watching from let me know where you are connected from amen and once you have done that i want you to type and say prophet i'm ready type it type it and say prophet i am ready type it right now say prophet i am ready prophet i am ready throw the flames in the in the live chat right now let me see it let me see the fire emojis let me see it let me see the fire emojis 
Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Glory to God. Santendida satalaba sukalabaya. Zintendida yanaman zatalabradia katoske rebe debekete. Libra antalaba sakatalaba radia kosto lobo sheketele meria kados. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, now let us get started. Let us get started now. Amen. Now, today I am going to be speaking about unmasking Lucifer. I'm going to be speaking about unmasking Lucifer. Somebody type that right now. Unmasking Lucifer. Type it. Type it, type it, type it. Unmasking Lucifer. Type it, unmasking Lucifer. Type it, type it, type it, unmasking Lucifer. You you need to understand that not many people know that the devil also known as Lucifer has an image now number one you need to understand something about the devil the devil is not his name the devil is in operation I'm going to say it one more time the devil is not a name the devil is an operation The devil is in operation. Also, Satan is not his name. Satan is an office that Lucifer occupies. Lucifer is his name. He operates as the devil being in the office of Satan. You need to understand that Satan means adversary. It means enemy. Now, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. Today, today is, is, I'm exposing the truth. Because if the truth is not exposed, you will not know whom you are fighting against. If you do not know what the person that you're fighting against looks like, it is a blind match. It is a blind match. You see, the cause of man falling is because they did not know who they were fighting against you see when the enemy fights you and when he attacks you he will make it seem as if he is for you and not against you Any time 
Satan is to bring an attack. Anytime you are to face a spiritual attack from the wicked one, he will make it appear as if he is for you and not against you. And the reason why he does this is because when he does this, your guard becomes down. When when he does this, it is more easier for you to let your guard down. So when Lucifer comes to you, he will put you in a place that makes you feel comfortable so that he can attack. Because you have to understand, in order for him to attack the way how he wants to attack, he looks for a loophole. He looks for a place where you have let your guard down Amen Glory to God Now We all know that Lucifer was casted out of heaven, right? We all know that Lucifer is casted out of heaven. Now, as I bring up the scriptures, I'm going to break it down for you and I'm going to give you a clear understanding. But I'm just going to say this in plain terms for now that Lucifer was casted out of heaven, even though his functionality was not in heaven. In a few moments from now, you're going to understand what I'm saying. That Lucifer was not in heaven he was not functioning in heaven but he was functioning on the earth he was functioning in a dimension on the earth and I'm going to explain it to you and I'm going to show you in scripture where the location of Lucifer was he was not in heaven but he was in a specific location but we all know that he got casted out of heaven meaning that he has now been stripped from his assignment meaning that he has lost jurisdiction jurisdiction has been taken away from him to operate as the anointed cherub now you need to understand that the gifts and callings of God are without repentance so you can still operate without jurisdiction, without heaven's backing. You can lose your jurisdiction in the spirit and still function in the gift. You can still lose that spiritual authority, that spiritual backing that comes from God and still operate in the gifting in that calling amen but that's not what we are that's not what we are speaking about today now understand that the bible says lucifer was cast out of heaven and then the bible says that the sons of god were gathered as they were gathered before God, the Bible says that Lucifer came in their midst and God said, um, Lucifer, where have, where have you been? And the answer of Lucifer was, I have been toe and fro on the earth and 
God asked Lucifer and said, Have you considered my servant Job? There is none like him on the earth. Now, number one, you may be asking when you're reading the scripture, there is something missing. There is something missing because how can Lucifer be cast out of heaven, but yet he still has access <laughs> to come before God and the sons of God? So was Lucifer truly casted out? Yes. Yes, he was. He was truly casted out. Now you need to understand that, number one, God is known as what? God is known as the judge. God is known as the judge, right? And you have to understand that Christ is known as our advocate. He is known as our high priest and our advocate. He is constantly interceding and standing in the gap on our behalf. And Lucifer is known as the accuser. So when you look in that scripture in Job, you need to understand that Lucifer entered into a heavenly court and a case was brought before Lucifer and the judge said have you considered my servant Job there's none like him on the earth and the accuser of course said the reason this is is because you have given him everything you have given him everything and because you have given him everything that is why he is loyal to you but take everything away and he will curse you to your face so you need to understand number one that lucifer operates as the accuser the bible says that he is the accuser of the brethren you need to understand that lucifer he is not a baby he is not he he, he was not born yesterday lucifer has studied humanity for decades for centuries he has studied man and he knows the act of man the Bible says that there is nothing new under the sun. So you need to understand that he has done his studies and he has studied man. So Lucifer knows where to pinpoint in specific areas of your life so that he can bring accusations before God against you the only thing that covers us is the grace of God if it has not been for Christ Jesus where would we have been there are so many accusations that Lucifer can bring before God and he has already brought accusations before God against you but you need to understand that it is God, it is His grace that is covering us. It is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that is covering us. Amen? Now, let us retrack. And I said from the beginning, I said earlier, I said that in order for you to fight an opponent and for you to know who you're fighting against you need to know the image if you do not know who you're fighting against your opponent can come and attack you 
and it will be a blind spot. But if you're able to identify what the enemy looks like, you will know when he is approaching you from a mile away. If you do not know the image that he carries, if you do not know what he looks like, you will be easily deceived. You will be easily deceived. There has been so much deception that has happened. You see, I tell people this, Christianity is spirituality. Every other aspects of spirituality that is out there has been branched out from Christianity. Because you have to understand, for example, if I am to poison you, if I'm to feed you poison, I cannot give you straight up poison because you know what poison looks like. Number one, if I'm to feed you poison, number one, you know automatically that what I'm giving you is not edible. It is not precious in this it is not precious to eat. It, it, it is not good to look upon to eat. You know clearly that it is something that is not edible. But what if I am t- what if I'm to give you steak? What if what about filet mignon? Hmm? What about uh penne penne vodka pasta? What about uh chicken alfredo? And what if I'm to inject that poison within the meat, within the center of the steak? You will be eating the you will be eating the steak, eating the steak, eating the steak. And guess what? Because the steak is so good, I made it just how you like it. And you eat the steak until you reach the middle, not knowing that in the middle there is poison. But because you are enjoying the steak, you know that there's nothing wrong with the steak. You have let your guard down where you're not able to discern that there is poison that has been injected into the steak. So you have to understand that is how Lucifer operates. When he operates, he operates and he gives you what you want and he gives you what you want to deceive you. Because when he comes to you, he's not coming to be against you, but he comes to be for you. Glory. If you're if you're following me, I, I want you to type fire right now. If you're following me, type fire. If you're following me, type fire. If you're following me, type fire. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the like button so that we can reach as many people as we can with this message. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you put the fire emojis. And if you're following me, type and say prophet, I'm following you, and make sure you share, share, share. Amen. Let us get the shares up right now. I'm going to give you a minute right now. I'm going to give you a minute right now. Let's get the likes up. Hit the like button. If you haven't done so, hit the like button. Hit the like button right now. I'm going to give you a minute right now. I'm also going to give you a minute to share. Share to someone right now. Liberedia kasoto ko prede. Limanan satiako. Janaman diele kasata labare. Janaman zalia koko peria kasaina. Zite lidi andele bera suzaya. Mandia klazete li brondo skija prahe de kelemenestes. Rama satia kadosha. Ribele ki raman stelidi anza konre enia klazilias. Jean Christoze melikini ananza levene. Keep going, keep going. Let us push, let us push this work. Amen. God bless all of you. Now we're about to go into our scriptures right now. We're about to go into the scripture. 
we're about to go into the scripture. We're about to go into the scripture right now. Now, number one, you need to understand that there are and there has been a great deception on what Lucifer looks like. In fact, if you were to ask someone to draw the devil right now, that person will draw the devil. And when you look upon that picture, you will see that the person drew a picture of a red-like figure with a pitchfork and two horns. And if you show this picture to anybody, not even a, 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 a person that is not a child of God, that is not a Christian, and you ask them, you say, what is this picture? And they will say, that's a devil. But let me tell you that that is the greatest deception. The devil has deceived the world in giving us a false image of himself. What you see in your, your those drawings and those arts, that, that is not the devil. And he has deceived many. He has deceived many. One thing that you need to understand is Lucifer is probably one of the most gorgeous angels that you actually look upon. He is so beautiful, so glorious to behold that if he appears to you, you would think that you've seen God. You will think that you have seen God. The Bible says that the devil appears as an angel of light. That's what the Bible says. That he appears like an angel of light. So when he appears to you, he's not coming. He is not appearing as your enemy. He comes to you as a friend. Are you guys following me? I hope you guys are hearing me now. I hope you guys are hearing me now. When he appears to you, he is not going to appear like your enemy. He will not even look like your enemy. That, that is the deception. That is how he comes to deceive you. He doesn't come as an enemy. But he comes as a friend. Now, we're going to go to Isaiah. We're going to go to Isaiah right now. We're going to go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 14. And we'll be reading from verse 12 to 14. Isaiah 14, verse 12 to 14. Isaiah 14, verse 12 to 14. And it says, How? Are you fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And I will also sit on the mount of the congregation, on the farthest sides of the north. And I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. 
Now I want you to pay attention to the scripture. It says that he said, I will ascend into heaven. So you need to understand that Lucifer was not in heaven. If he's saying that I'm going to ascend into heaven, it means that he's in a place that is not in heaven. And remember I said that Lucifer was on the earth, but he was in a dimension here that is on the earth. And it also says, he said, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Now you need to understand who are the stars of God. The stars of God are the archangels. Also known as the seven archangels, the Bible says in the book of Revelation that Christ, when John beheld Christ, he saw that he held seven stars in his hand. And these seven stars were the seven spirits of God, also known as the seven archangels. And it says, I will sit in the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high. So you need to understand that Lucifer said this all in his heart. This was a meditation that he had. And you need to understand that for you to know that Lucifer was not in heaven, number one, you need to understand the loudest, the loudest voice that heaven hears is not the voice that you use to speak with your mouth, but it's the voice that you use to speak within your heart. The Bible says that the angel Gabriel appeared to Daniel and said, Oh Daniel, the moment you set your hearts to understand the things that which is in heaven, you were already answered. Because the moment Daniel meditated, it was a form of prayer. And heaven heard Daniel's prayer and answered Daniel. So you need to understand that Lucifer was functioning in the lower dimensions of the heavens. Because you need to understand that the earth is the lowest part of the heavenlies. Let us go to the next verse. Let us go to the next verse. Let us go to the next verse. I mean, sorry, the next scripture. And it says in Ezekiel 28, verse 13, it says, You were in Eden, the garden of God. That is where Lucifer was located. That was the location of Lucifer which is Eden and Eden is a dimension on the earth that is guarded by the cherubims the reason why many people are not able to access it is because number one it is a spiritual atmosphere that has been created by the presence of God and is a dimension and is a location that is on the earth Glory to God. It says, You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering the sardis, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, turquoise, emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. The Bible gave us. A clear, a clear description of Lucifer. The Bible gave us a clear description of Lucifer. He is not a red creature with two horns and a pitchfork. No, that is deception because if you think that Lucifer will appear like that, when he appears to you, you will not even know that he's appeared to you. You will not even know that he has appeared to you. That is his way of deception. When he appears to you, 
he comes like an angel of light he comes like an angel of light he comes like an angel of light and the Bible also says something and this is going to give you a an understanding on how and why man fell and why man was so easily deceived number one when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden you need to understand that they were not alone they were not alone because there were angels that were there to accompany them and there were angels there to fellowship with them so it was the norm for them to fellowship with angels not only with God but with angels and angels were also there abiding in Eden along with Adam and with Eve because the Bible says that Lucifer was also planted in Eden Lucifer was also planted in Eden and the Bible says that the woman was deceived by the serpent or in other words Lucifer you need to understand that when the Bible says that the serpent spoke to the woman it was not speaking of a literal serpent no it was not speaking of a literal serpent it doesn't mean that Lucifer possessed the serpent no there's nowhere in the Bible where it says that Lucifer possessed the serpent the Bible just said the serpent spoke to the woman and you need to understand that a serpent is also a symbol of wisdom a serpent is also a symbol of wisdom that's why Jesus said be wise be wise as serpents and harmless as doves because a serpent is a symbolism of wisdom a serpent is a symbolism of wisdom are you following me if you're following me I want you to type and say prophet I'm following you if you're following me I, I want you to type and say prophet I am following you say prophet I'm following you I want to I want to I want to make sure that we are that we are on the same page amen I want to make sure that we're on the same page now pay attention to this it says in Revelations chapter 12 verse 9 Revelations chapter 12 verse 9 it said so the great dragon was cast out that serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world he was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him so the Bible says the great dragon also known as that old serpent or in other words that ancient serpent because he is ancient and he is ancient he's described as a serpent meaning that Lucifer operates with an ancient wisdom so if you are someone that is not wise you do not have the wisdom of God it is easy for you to be beguiled for you to be deceived by Lucifer Now, Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Genesis chapter 3. I'll be reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. Now, the Bible says that Lucifer was in Eden, right? And, I and there's the Bible gave a clear description on what 
his appearance was. So his appearance was not a literal snake or a literal serpent. Just how the Bible says Jesus is the Lamb of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He's not a literal lion and he's not a literal snake. But the Bible is speaking about a nature that they carry. Do you understand? The Bible is speaking about attributes, attributes that they carry within them. And it says, Now this serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now number one, Lucifer, being in his being wise, didn't know why Adam and Eve were not eating of the tree. So number one, he had to use reverse psychology. He was using reverse psychology in order for them to expose why they did not eat of the tree. Because Lucifer was watching them closely daily and noticed that they ate of every tree. But every single day when they eat of the tree, they would pass by the tree and knowledge of good of evil. And he said, huh, why is it that they're not eating of this tree let me ask the woman and the bible says and he said has god indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden of eden because you have to understand god said you can eat of every tree but not that one so you need to understand he said did god say you can eat of every tree not knowing that he knows that they ate of every tree but besides that specific tree and he wanted to find out the reason behind it and the woman spoke and said to the serpent we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden God has said you shall not eat it nor shall you touch it lest you die So right then and there, you have to understand that Lucifer came to the woman in his beauty and in his splendor. If Lucifer was going to appear like a red looking creature with two horns and a pitchfork or a snake, the woman would not even speak to him yet understand lucifer means bright bright one it means shining one lucifer means son of the morning it means shining one bright one so you have to understand that there was a certain brightness there was a certain brightness that he carried there was a certain aura a shine that was about him and this was the response of Lucifer he said he said for God knows that in a day you eat of eat of it your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. You understand? Now, Lucifer is making it seem as if God is keeping the tree because God does not want man to be like him, although man was created in his image and in his likeness. The reason why man was created was to be in the image and likeness of God. So Lucifer made the woman to think that she was not or she is missing something. That there is something that God is hiding from her hiding from them although God has already given it to them 
and that is the reason why God created them you see the reason why Jesus said this is what Jesus said Jesus said when someone tells you the kingdom of God is over there and over there don't believe them they are deceiving you because the kingdom of God is already inside of you so Lucifer made her to think that there was something there was that she needed to go to a specific place or location in order for her to receive something that God already gave her that is the greatest form of deception that is how Lucifer is deceiving people making you think that you need to go to a specific location in order to receive them something although don't get me wrong there are places and locations that God has ordained for you to be in order for you to encounter him that's not what I'm saying you need to understand that God has given you everything that pertains to this life meaning that God has given you everything that you need in order for you to fulfill your purpose that is ordained for you But Lucifer will deceive you and making you think that you've never received it and you need to go to get that very thing. That is deception. That is the deception of the enemy. And the Bible says this. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant of the eyes, and the tree, a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruits and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. So, understand this. The Bible says after, after the woman, after the woman spoke and had that encounter with Lucifer, she meditated on that very word. She meditated on the words and she meditated on the encounter. And she meditated on this encounter. And by that reason, the Bible says that she saw that the tree was good and desirable. And the fruit looked good and pleasurable to the eyes to eat. Not knowing that Lucifer has already poisoned that thing that she has desired to eat. Now the tree of knowledge and good of evil is not a bad tree. It was never a bad tree because number one, the Bible says, the Bible says that when they ate of it, man fell, their eyes opened, they saw that they were naked, right? And the Bible says that the man and the woman, Adam and Eve, were casted out of the garden. And God said, man has now become like us. So it means that this tree was made and it was specially made in order for them to become like God. Now, you need to understand that it was the will of God for them not to take it on their own but for God to give it to them he told man he said don't take it but it doesn't mean that God was going to keep the tree there and those fruits there for them not to partake in it do you understand so you need to understand that Lucifer caused them to make them think that they were missing something that God already has ordained for them to receive. So many a times Lucifer will deceive you and making you think that you are missing something although you are yet to receive that very thing. He will make you think as if you are missing something, although you already have that very thing inside of you. You see, that is why many people, God has desired to 
bless that person but in order for them to enter into the blessing they must go through that process but many people they don't like to go through the process so they rather take the shortcut or the short route and uh, pretty much what Lucifer did was give them a shortcut and a short route you need to understand that if you take a shortcut you will end up coming short the Bible says all have sinned and all have come short of the glory of God and they definitely came short because they wanted a shortcut in order to be like God although God has already made them to be like him and was bringing them through that process so do not fall for deception and avoid that process because if you avoid the process and end up taking a shortcut Lucifer has deceived you it is the deception of the enemy everyone's process of course is different but if you avoid the process you end up coming short And the thing is, Lucifer wants you to end up coming short because he knows that everything that processes has glory. You need to understand that gold must first go through fire. gold must first go through fire in order for it to become beautiful. There cannot be any fire. There cannot be any fire that will make gold to be gold unless it passes through it so gold needs to pass through fire in order for it to become gold you must first go through that process for you to become the product Adam avoided the process Eve, they avoided the process and they fell short the reason why Christ is the perfect Adam for you and I is because he went through a process there was no shortcut because after the process there is glory amen If you've been blessed I want you to type and say prophet I've been blessed if you've been blessed I want you to type and say prophet I have been blessed prophet I've been blessed throw the fire throw the fire emojis hit the like button if you haven't done so subscribe if you're a first timer hit your notification bell and let me know if you have been blessed let me know if you've been blessed let me know if you've been blessed let me know if you've been blessed. Glory to God. Glory to God. I can see. I can see you typing. Say, I've been blessed. Prophet, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Saying, Prophet, I've been blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now. I want you to understand children of God that the enemy when he comes he doesn't come like he's against you but he comes like he's for you so that your guard will be let down when you begin to see these signs I want you to know that the enemy is trying to make your guard down for him to attack the Bible says that we are to be sober and we are to be vigilant meaning that we have to stay alert at all times never let your God down at all times always keep your God up because the devil appears like an angel of light hallelujah this is prophet William Elia and we are coming to an end of another segment at the entrance Shalom Oh, 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 oh,